Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me and the first plan with me actually in my new planner. So if you guys haven't seen my life update video, um, I kind of go through why I'm using a new planner, what like this new planner is from and all that stuff. Um, for this week, this is the week of the 4th of July, so I'm using the um, 4th kit from Scrubble Prince Co. Um, but yeah, so I kind of go into a little bit of detail about why I am um, changing up my planning style and someone did comment on there I don't remember who it was saying that you could use like still use their and and it's totally okay um, which I 100% understand and I am it's everyone's personal decision my main decision for me not using it apart from the controversy with Erin Condren is because I want to try to find planner piece and the Erin Condren just uh, isn't giving that to me anymore and because I'm not enjoying planning that was kind of why I wasn't planning at all so um me moving into the NA5 I was hoping that will kind of help spark my interest in planning again so if you um, didn't see that video I recommend definitely going and watching it I think it was the not the last video the last video was a haul so it should be the video before that um but yeah I actually really did enjoy planning um this way without like having a coil in the way with being able to move the pages and stuff I am still trying to get used to it though because there were a couple things that were off camera um that I didn't mean to do but it, it was just unfortunately just the way it was that was just I wasn't paying attention and it like ended up being off camera so that's one thing I will have to get used to eventually um but overall I do really like how it turned out and I think it's really pretty and it's actually nice because I didn't have to use any white out at least for this one I think I used like maybe like two things of white out I did one side with white out and one side without it and you can't really tell a difference at all through the washi it could very much be that that's just the way the washi is but we'll see as I continue planning with this to see if it um gets any worse and I will have to use white out the colors of the pages though are a little different than the color of the whiteouts. The whiteouts stood out a lot but it's totally okay. It's not like that crazy big of a deal um, but yeah overall I actually really enjoyed planning like this. It was a little different and I was still getting used to kind of what I was putting down and what I was deciding like where what was going where. Um, surprisingly the spacing is very simple. I was genuinely surprised by that. I was expecting the spacing to be very difficult and it wasn't. It was actually very, very nice. So um, overall, definitely happy with how easy it was to plan. I didn't have to white out a lot of stuff and I don't know if it was shorter, but I feel like it didn't take me as long to put down the base, which is always definitely nice. So yeah, overall, I think this spread turned out really pretty. I'm really happy with it. Um, I did go on vacation during half of this week. We actually planned on going on vacation over the week of the 4th of July because we wanted to see the fireworks show and everything which we planned this all the way back in like January something like that so before like COVID was really a thing and unfortunately they did cancel the fireworks for the 4th of July um so we didn't get to do like anything with that but it was totally okay we just um spent some time with like family and stuff like that um they were supposed to do a parade as well when we were in Mammoth and unfortunately that got cancelled for the 4th of July as well. Also if you notice my thumb on my right hand does not have any nail polish on it. That is because I broke that nail and it was like all the way past my nail bed to the point where it was almost bleeding so I had to um, like just let it like grow out a little bit so that's why there's no nail polish on that nail so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, so we didn't really get to do, like, too much of the 4th of July stuff that we were looking forward to. Usually I work on the 4th of July or we just don't do anything. Um, so it was a little sad about that, but it was totally okay. It's more better to be safe than it is, um, to, like, actually go out and be in a large gathering where fireworks were happening and all that stuff. So it was totally okay. Um, but yeah, moving on to actual plans since we are already planning Monday. Um, I did put in the sidebar, like, a little... Um, character from Fox and Cactus with a mask and marked staying safe because yes we did go on vacation I was gone for a week and a half but we were as safe as possible we were also the first ones in the condo after um, like they were closed down for a decent amount of time like they opened like June 26 or something like that so there was no one else in the condo um, it was very clean and we were being as safe as possible so it's been like three weeks now and I never got any symptoms so we're good <laughs> um, but on Monday um, we ended up getting another leak in our bathroom which we've had we had a leak 
in like February, early March or so, and we had it fixed, and then we ended up getting another leak in the bathroom, um, so we have to get plumbers again. We're getting a bunch of consultations to see, like, um, the best estimate and stuff because everyone has a different estimate and everyone has like a different plan of going about it so we were getting like a ton of like plumber consultations and stuff like that um, especially because we're gonna have to like re-plumb our whole entire house which is great um, but we had another leak in the bathroom so I used a Grin and Barrett little um, bear to mark that and then I did clean out my closet which is so nice I got to the point where my closet was completely full and I couldn't hang up any more clothes so I was like all right it's time to purge some clothes so I used a emoji from the coffee monsters co for that um I put down a half box and then Mulan just matched this kit for those of you who do not know I do work at Disneyland um and I like using Disney characters to mark anything that is work related and I usually use the one that matches the kit the best so um Mulan matched it the best Okay, sorry. So I ended up getting a package delivered and my sister interrupted me and I had to go put this stuff away. So I don't remember exactly what I was talking about, but I think I was talking about um, me using Disney characters to mark anything work-related. Um, so essentially, I ended up getting a call from Disney on this day, so I just used Mulan to mark that. Um, because of the call, I also was extremely stressed out. I'm actually in a group message with like four other co-workers and my phone was just blowing up on this day because all of us were receiving calls and we we're just like oh my god what do we do so um I used a stressed out munchkin I think it's a munchkin uh to mark that and then had to make a big decision which I'm not going to go into detail about it um but I used a little bit of a crying like fox and cactus girl for that and then after that, I did watch The Borrowers with my sister. I just, I love that movie, and I love seeing little Tom Felton. He's just so cute in The Borrowers. Um, so I used a munchkin, like, on the couch with some popcorn for that. And then I just had a little bit of a sister night with my sister, obviously. Um, so I used some more munchkins to mark that. Moving on to Tuesday. I'm a little out of breath because I had to bring in the trash cans, and that was a lot more effort than I meant to be, but... It's fine. It's also really hot in here. It's supposed to be like 107 on Friday, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not ready for that. I'm not, no, just, just no. Anyway, um, on Tuesday, I put down a Amazon munchkin because I did make an Amazon order. Y'all, I've been buying so much stuff, and I'm like, I need to stop. It's bad. It's so bad. Um, and then I used a squared off quarter box and um, two little, like, friends. They're technically the, like, lesbian couple, but I like to use them for friends. Um... So I put that down from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I did have lunch with Ella Isaiah. Uh, she was watching over our dogs or was going to be watching over our dogs from like the 4th through like the 7th for a couple of days. Um, because all of us, every single person in my family was going to be up in Mammoth. So we needed someone to watch our dogs. So I just had lunch with her and then she did stop by so I can give her like my house key and stuff like that. And then underneath that I used a Magic Prince Co. washing machine to mark a laundry day. And then I did paint my nails as well. So I used a Scrubble Prince Co. icon for that. Um, I had to pack because packing is ridiculous and takes me forever. Funny enough, I used to pack like two weeks before whatever vacation I was going on. Now I pack the day before. Sometimes I pack day of and it's just, it's never good. Um, but I had to pack up my suitcase. So I used a packing munchkin for that. And then I used a quarter box and a munchkin on its phone in bed to mark some late night texting which I'm not going to go into detail. Um, moving on to the first, I put down a bill due that is from Scrove Prince Co. I think I'm a little bit, yeah, I'm, I, I think I stay a little bit out of frame, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, and then I did have to wake up early because this was the day that we were driving up to Mammoth. It's about a six hour, five and a half, six hour drive, so we do wake up pretty decently early. Um, so I just used a munchkin for that, and then I used a Magic Prince Co. car icon to mark that I we needed to pack up the car. And I ended up having a panic attack before we left. It was a mixture of just lack of sleep, being tired, and just mentally exhausted. Um, so I did end up having a panic attack before we <laughs> drove up there, which was great. It was a mixture also of just, like, the stress from Monday and then, like, being up all night, not sleeping very much for, like, three days. It was just, it was a lot. So I used a emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark the panic attack, which was great because then I had to proceed to drive up to Mammoth after that and I was like this is fun and it was me driving too I wasn't like a passenger in the car I had to drive and I was like this is this is great um but I put on some podcasts we were totally good I listened to like six podcasts which was great actually I think I listened to more like four maybe five because some of them are like an hour and a half long 
Um, but yeah, so I had a panic attack, which was fun. I then put down a half box and a emoji with a car to mark that we did drive to Mammoth. Like I said, it's like a six hour drive. It's a lot. Um, it was also kind of a little stressful because we only stop, we stopped three times, I think. Um, yeah, we stopped three times on the way up there and you sometimes too, depends. Um, but we weren't sure if the restrooms were going to be open because of COVID or due to COVID. So the first stop that we like stopped at, the restrooms were closed. And funny enough, everything had started to reopen. And then in California, cases started raising, rising again. So then they started shutting things back down. So we were like, oh, no, we don't know what's going to be open. We don't know what's going to be closed. Like, this is great. Um, so thankfully, the second stop that we had they had the restroom open but I literally was like do not drink water do not drink anything and I needed like coffee to stay awake so I was like this is this is not gonna end well it's fine but we made it through we were good um and then underneath that I put down a munchkin that's like kind of fangirling that has like the hearts and all that stuff um to mark that we just drove around the beautiful lakes and which we do like every time and then I used a grin and barrett's um I think they're called berries y'all tell me below what are the grin and berry like characters called like Coffee Monsters Co's are emojis. Once more with love is munchkins. Let me know what, like, Grin and Barrett ones are, because this is my first time using them. So let me know what they are. Um, but we always get Giovanni's on our first night when we go up to Mammoth, so we did get that. So I just used the little um, Grin and Barrett bear for, like, with some pizza for that. Moving on to Thursday, um, we did wake up super early, and then, like, super early as in, like, 5 a.m., which is a lot for me. Lindsay doesn't wake up that early. Um, but I used a squared off quarter box and a fishing munchkin because we did wake up early to go fishing at Lake Mary. Is this blurry? Oh my god. Y'all, I'm sorry if this is blurry. <laughs> it is. I apologize. Um, like I said, I was struggling a little with filming. Um, but we did go fishing, which we usually fish at Twin Lakes, which is a lake that's up in Mammoth, if you guys didn't know. Um, and funny enough, we got up there around like 5.45 and someone was in the spot. And I was just like, y'all what is this? It's 5.45 in the morning. Why are you awake in this spot? So we then had a fish at a different lake. We did not catch anything. We usually, like, we used to catch so many fish and now we just don't catch anything. I'm like, this is it's ridiculous. It's fine. But we did do some fishing and then we got Starbucks after. So I used a um, Starbucks run script, which is exciting from Kinsey's Creation. It's my first one that I've used from Kinsey's Creations. And then a Simply Watercolor Co. coffee cup. And then we did go to the grocery store to get a couple of groceries for a couple of days. Um, so I used a Lolly and Pop from Glam Planner for that. Moving down, I used a Icon from Spilled Prince Co. because I did make a credit card payment. I have been trying my hardest to pay off my like credit cards because honestly, 20-year-old Lindsay really screwed over. Now I'm 26, which, oh my god, 26. Oh god. 20-year-old Lindsay really screwed over 26-year-old Lindsay. I was saying 25-year-old, but now I'm 26. It's it's no fun. Um, but yeah, I was very naive back then and I racked up some credit that I have to pay down. And I've been slowly paying it down, um, thankfully, but I, I make pay extra payments here and there. So I did make a credit card payment on this day. Um, and then I use a fancy label and a um, Mario and Luigi or Steamy and Suey um, sticker that are dressed up as Mario and Luigi from Wonton to Million, um, because I did buy Mario Party, and I just wanted to mark it, and that was the only, like, Nintendo-esque, like, Mario sticker that I had, and then I did fall asleep early on this day, because, y'all, I woke up at, like, 5 a.m., so I used a sleeping munchkin for that. Moving on to Friday, um, we didn't get up on this day to go fishing, so I used a fancy label and a paper and milk moro, and a sleep-in sticker from Kinsey's Creations, um, and then underneath that, I did have to transfer some money, so I used a dollar sign icon from Scribble Prince Co. for that. Um, this was kind of the day that we kind of, like, were relaxing a little bit more, so I did unpack my suitcase. So I used another Lolly and Pop from Glam Planner for that. Um, I don't usually unpack suitcases when I travel, but because we're usually there for, like, we're usually there for a week and a half, it's a long time, so, um... I do like to unpack my suitcase a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit easier. And then underneath that, I used a book from Paper and Milk to mark that we went to the bookie joint, which is a 
um, I think it's there, there's two bookstores that are up there, and that one is, like, the main one, and it was really weird, too, because obviously with COVID, you have to walk around with a mask, you use hand sanitizer and everything, um, but certain stores, just based off of their capacity, they only allow certain, like, a certain amount of people in there, and Bookie Joint was one of them where they only allowed, like, I think it was, like, eight people maximum, and I was like, oh my god, that's so small, um, so we did have to wait a little bit in order to get in there, but we finally did. And then underneath that, I took a half box and some munchkins that are, like, in a tent. I need to find more lake stickers that don't include, like, just fishing. I need to find a way to mark the lake better because um, we always go to so many different lakes and it's it's really hard to mark them. Um, but I used that to mark June Lake. And then I used a wonton in a million um, steamy with, like, the hearts around it to mark a really pretty sunset. There are so pretty, like such pretty sunsets up there it's just beautiful with the mountains and everything um and oh my god it's like my favorite place to be if I could live in Mammoth I totally would um and then underneath that I did play some Animal Crossing on this day which no one is surprised about so I used Isabel from Coffee Monsters Co I believe and an Animal Crossing script that is from Kinsey's Creations moving on to a Saturday so Saturday was actually the day that the rest of our family joined us. Um, unfortunately, like, because our trip is always so long, not everyone can go for the whole entire time frame. And due to COVID, I actually was able to go longer than I had anticipated for this year. I actually had only anticipated me being able to go for, like, four days, but I ended up being able to go for the whole entire time. Um, but everyone came up on the Saturday, so that was fun. So, um, we did all get to spend the 4th of July together. So, I used a quarter, or squared off quarter box, and a and Modi from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a 4th of July script from Scrub Prince Co., I believe, to mark the 4th of July. And then I just had a build due, so I used a Scrub Prince Co. build due for that. And then we did go to Convict Lake, so I used another Munchkin for that one, which was really nice. We just kind of walked around. It was extremely busy. We have never gone up there for the 4th of July, and y'all, it was extremely busy. Like, every single campsite was filled. If you wanted to go by a lake, it was just, it was filled. You couldn't walk anywhere. There's just so many people. And I was like, y'all are supposed to be social distancing. Why are there so many people up here? It was kind of insane. Um, but once, like, the weekend died down, like, everyone left on Sunday. Totally not a big deal. But, like, the 4th of July was just insane. I was like, this is why we don't come up here on the 4th of July. But we wanted to go up for, like, the parade and the fireworks and everything. And they ended up getting canceled in the end anyway. So, kind of didn't work out, but it's totally okay. Um, and then underneath that, we just had some family time, so I just used this, um, Glam Planner Lolly, and then, like, it's a Father's Day one, or, like, Lolly with her father, so I just used that to mark family time, and then we played a Cards Against Star Wars, which was so funny. It's a take on Cards Against Humanity, just it's obviously Star Wars themed, and I wanted to get the Marvel ones so bad, I just haven't found them yet, but it was so funny. I'm not, like, a huge Star Wars fan, but I know a decent amount of it. To understand it, we were playing with my brother, um, and, like, my sister and then my brother's, um, girlfriend, or technically fiancé, which we get into that on Sunday, um, but we were playing with them, and it was, it was just so much fun. They all are bigger Star Wars fans than me, so they understood more, but I was just like, I don't quite fully understand this, but it's fine. Um, and then I did have some ice cream also on that day, so I just used a Celeste from Scroll Prince Co. to mark that. Moving on to a Sunday, so I used a Simply Water Color Co. coffee cup and another Starbucks run a script from Kinsey's Creations to mark Starbucks. Um, we then went to Rock Creek Geological Site, which is a little area outside of Mammoth. Um, so I used a munchkin for that. And then I used a half box and a ring, I believe it's from a Once More With Love sheet. My sister's like singing or making noise. If you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, but my brother did get engaged, which is always exciting. Um, it was a little stressful because I was in charge of taking the photos and like he did it so quickly and I'm like, bro, like why you gotta do that so quickly? Like my heart was like, good God, I really hope I got a good picture. And if not, I was going to make him reenact it because I was like, I don't care because y'all are getting a good picture. I was so stressed out and they had a new camera and everything too. And I was just like, you had to do this this way? Come on now. I like how I was the one who had to take the photos. My sister at least had a video of it, but I was like, oh my God, you're doing this now. I'm not prepared. <laughs> like, hold on. So it was exciting though. Like we knew he was going to do it. We just didn't know exactly when he was going to do it. Like we got out of the car while we, like after we arrived there and he had the ring and he was like, I was like, wait, you're going to do it now? And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, okay, not ready for this, but okay. Um, so yeah, so he's engaged, which is always exciting. Um, and then I used a munchkin with a camera to mark that we did take photos, obviously. 
Um, and then we did went to the village, which is like a little shopping area. Um, so I used a fox and cactus girl with like some shopping bags to mark that. And then we did go to the consolidated mine. So I used a paper mill hiking morrow for that. And last but not least, we had Roberto's, which is a Mexican place up there for dinner. So yeah, pretty exciting week. It was a good time. Um, but overall it was a good week I think I don't know exactly what I'm saying now I feel like I'm just rambling I'm just waiting for filming Lindsay to get her act together and actually finish filling everything out but I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you're okay with the way that I'm now planning everything um and that hopefully I get used to planning with like the two pages and, and all that stuff hopefully we'll get a little bit better with like the setup and everything but I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me we're gonna do a little bit of a viv wiggle for you guys just so you can try to see the foil little difficult but I think I kind of got it um and then I do flip through the rest of what I have in the kits which obviously it's a mini kit so there's a decent amount of stuff that is left over but again I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me if you did as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already also follow my planner instagram because I am going to be posting this plan this spread over there and posting more photos over there eventually so go follow that it's always linked in my description and also leave me some kind of comment down below and I will see you guys in another video uh, very, very soon. Hopefully soon. Bye guys.